Right, we are going to do a quick video on automatic high beam assist AHBA. And basically that is where the car is going to turn the high beam on automatically for us as we're driving down the road at night. Now, it only works at speeds above 25 miles an hour. So you've got to be going that fast for the system to be active. And that kind of makes sense because when you're going slow, you can drive on dip beam. You can see far enough in front of you and you've got enough time to assess what you can see. It's only as your speed increases, you need to see further down the road where the high beam comes in handy. So basically behind here, there is a camera um, behind that box there and it is looking at the road and it's analyzing the image it sees and processing that. And if it sees a car coming towards us or another road user, then it is supposed to dip the headlights and it's pretty good. Now it does struggle a little bit. Like if you've got a car side on at a junction, you're coming along the road and someone's side on, it can't always see the lights. Um, and also cyclists and that sometimes struggle to see them. So it is important that you still pay attention and you can override the system. I'm gonna go through how it works. Now, let's start in the settings menu. So if we dive in here and go to all, you can probably turn the torch off now, George. And then if we go in to vehicle, okay. And if we go into exterior lights, now I've done the map for this. I'll put the link for the map for the whole thing. And if we go for automatic high beam, right, if we go here, so we've got automatic high beam assist is on, okay. So that's where you set it on and you toggle it off or on there as you need it, okay. So that's where you set it in the car and that's been set right so it's displayed in the in the instrument cluster we've got the gopro mounted in the instrument cluster here but basically you can see the side light here and you can see this auto let me have a look so i grab a camera so you can see hopefully it'll come out on the camera you've got this auto now if you push the stalk away from you it goes to main beam if you pull the stalk towards you it goes to dip beam now because we have manually interfered with it it is now deactivated now the manual says if you want to reactivate re-energize the automatic high beam assist you have to twist this little end piece so let me see if this works so if i twist it it has indeed gone on to auto now i was doing this the other night and it's doing some weird stuff now people have asked me to look at this because some people have I did the menu tree and someone said, well, that's, we're having a problem with high beam assist. It, you've shown where it is in the menu, which is great, but we've been in there, we've turned it on and we've got in the car and the next day or whatever, it's deactivated. And I was having the same problem. I was kind of, oh, I don't know if it was, and I said, that's weird, because I thought it was just me. Maybe I'd forgotten whether I'd done it or not. And I was beginning to doubt myself, but it does seem to be now that it does deactivate. Now, what I'm worried about is that that, that there might be a software thing, but also some people might think it's deactivated because when you manually override the system, on other cars, I've never seen it before, you have to twist this to re-engage to re it. Now, the other thing, we were driving the other night, weren't we, George, testing this out, and if you twist it the right way, it goes to auto, but if you twist it the wrong way, it turns all your lights off, like you can see it on the road in front, George. So, like, um, turn it one way we're on auto turn it the other way your lights are off so you do have to be a little careful now when we were driving the other day i was twisting away and it didn't work now it does seem there's another way to activate it so if you're when and i think this may only work when you're driving i'll see but if you push it away once you get main beam if you push it away a second time it brings it back to auto so i think this is actually a better way so you can press it once it'll go main beam or auto so let's let's go for a drive let's see how it works and we'll, we'll have a play with the twisting and the flapping away and stuff but I'll, let me get out onto the open road and get the speed going and hopefully we can get some of the pictures off the gopro so i'll turn the gopro on now as well there we go we're recording on the gopro so let's see what we find right right so we're driving along we've got a high beam assist it hasn't dipped for that car yet oh he flashed me it was a bit slow dipping there this guy at the side, it's right. So here we go. So we're on the open road now. It's put the main beam on. It's done it automatically. You can see the light on the dash. Hopefully I can cut to the GoPro footage and you'll see there we have got the high beam light on. 
Now we did drive this road the other day and there's a, like a street, there's like a factory on the right and it's got a light on it and it mistook it for a car. But let's have a look whether it's gonna do that again. Yeah, it does that again, it's dipped the lights and it's gone straight back to main beam. That's fair enough, we'll allow it that one. There we go. And then we go. Now, if I override it now and I pull the, let me get this right. If I pull it towards me, it goes just onto it and then we've got the green symbol there and you can have a look you can have a lean over if you want george although we'll do it off the gopro if we can we've got the green symbol on the dash and if i pull it again it's still right but if i push it it's still dip beam so if i push it away from me it's gone to auto okay if i push it away again it's gone to main beam solid main beam so pushing away toggles it between manual solid main beam and automatic so i'm going to go back onto auto again there we go now what i'm going to try and do now is i'm going to pull it towards me to put it on dip beam and then i'm going to try the twisty thing but i've got to make sure i get the twisty thing right or it's going to get i've got to twist it in the right direction so the top goes away from me so here we go so pull it towards me that goes on to dip beam twist it away from me now, now I'm twisting, it's not doing what it said it should do. It is not toggling it when you're driving. It does not toggle it onto high beam assist like the manual says. What you have to do is actually push the stalk away from you to reactivate auto high beam. So there we go, that's the mystery sorted. And I think, I think there's some confusion about that and certainly that isn't explained in the manual. Right, there we go, I'm gonna turn in here. And I, oh, one more thing, the system activates, I mentioned, at 25 miles an hour, but actually if you slow, oh, pheasant, there you go, um, if you slow down to 50, it works all the way down, it doesn't cut off to 15 miles an hour till you drop below 15, so it comes on at 25 and works until you drop below 15 miles an hour, so hopefully that's solved it. If you're still having problems where when you go into your settings it has deactivated it, let us know and we'll keep an eye on that. But we've done it now for a couple of days and it hasn't dropped out. And we even did a Pivi Pro reset and it didn't drop out. So there we go, auto high beam assist. Right, one thing we've just noticed is that when it goes from main beam to high beam, it doesn't just flash straight to, it seems to go, um, smoothly so here we go we've just pulled away so let's see if we can notice it there's no one on the road when it pulls up to speed let's see it go on right i don't know if we saw that right it's dipped again now because there's a car coming and just see if i don't know if we're going to see it on the camera but as we pass him it'll yeah you see that it fades in it doesn't just doom. now i think it's done with the shutter so whether the shutter opens slowly now it must open quickly if you flash someone um yeah see it's much quicker when you flash someone but but when you do the fade up it fades that's cool